Well, I'm uh, surprised I pushed the button. As a rule, I typically uh, never talk about money outside my own home. And uh, I'm going to break that rule now because I've been uh, thinking this morning about uh, uh, money and the, the acqu acquisition and loss of it. And I have a, just a couple of uh, uh, just points of advice from my own experience for what they're worth that I hope may be helpful to others. Um, they're very general ideas. The first is that uh, money, particularly cash, uh, is uh, liable to be blown away. It's, uh, it's, uh, it suffers the experience of the elements. <laughs> And what I mean by that is that uh, if you don't, if you have cash, if you come upon a windfall in your life and for whatever reason uh, money comes into your hands, if you don't tie it down, if you don't protect it, if you don't put it in a safe place, it will blow away. Now the winds don't have to be the uh, actual winds of life. Is that woman picking up trash as she's walking along? Isn't that cool? I love that. Um, the winds it certainly doesn't have to be anything real winds. It can be the, the winds of, uh, of, of life that uh, basically blow through. For example, putting money, uh, putting cash into a bank account where you have uh, ready access with an ATM. That's uh, winds are coming through, blowing that money right away. Putting money into, uh, into the stock market. And even in sometimes in relatively safe investments, seemingly safe investments can uh, can be very dangerous as well. The, uh, the money can blow away. You should only put money in the stock market that you're uh, that you're willing to risk. I know some people might say that's a little extreme, but in my experience, uh, I found the stock market to be a hazardous place. Unless you're very experienced, there are people out there far more experienced than you, who uh, who are aiming to get your money. So uh, use the stock market with uh, caution. One of the safest places that I know to keep money is uh, uh, safely tied up in equity, in a sound equity. You know, uh, buying a piece of property or a house in a, in a proper market conditions uh, can allow money to to safely reside in equity. And even if it's not uh, building quickly, at least it's not as vulnerable to to receiving and pulling out and spending. So uh, don't tie it in with an ATM card. My brother likes to call that ATM in the house. <laughs> <laughs> you have a home line of equity that you can easily uh, use the ATM card. That is dangerous. One of the safest places that I know of for money is in uh, uh, something equivalent to a retirement account, a 401k, something like that. I don't know. That's what we call it in the United States. They have a, I think they have equivalent things around the world. Um, those are very safe. I even though your, your money may go down, as many have experienced in uh, the recent economic downturn, but at least it's probably not going to disappear completely, although maybe some of it did. <laughs> I know that uh, the safest money that I've ever had and, had and managed to hold on to is the money that I've put into my retirement accounts. So just a, a few ideas about uh, money. Uh, if, you, if you let it, if you let it, if you don't mind it, it's going to blow away. That's a good way to think about it. Money requires attention, just like a child, just like a lover, just like a, a, a cherished piece of... Uh, piece of uh, possession that you need to uh, keep in mind and take care of. You've got to dust it, you've got to look after it, you've got to protect it and keep it safe, otherwise it will uh, deteriorate. And uh, likewise can happen with our money and our financial fortunes can, can blow away with the wind. Uh, I'm wishing uh, financial success and prosperity to all of you. Take care everybody. Bye bye.